Welcome, yogis. Today's practice, we're pretty much going to go with the flow. So let's see where the practice takes us. Get comfortable in your cross-legged seat. Close down your eyes. Draw your shoulders back. Pressing down into your seat, finding length in the spine, it's almost like you're stacking your crown over your root and pressing down into the pelvic floor. Move your awareness to your breathing. We'll take five yogic breaths together. Inhaling for the count of five and exhaling for the count of five. Exhale first, completely. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, to the very bottom, expanding. And then on your exhale, the belly softens. Now continue to breathe at your own pace. Pay attention to the inhales and really pay attention to the exhale. Allowing the energy of prana to move through you and open your eyes. We'll start the practice with a sounding arm. So bring your prayer hands in front of your chest. Bow down your head. First we inhale and then we exhale on the arm sound. Inhale. And let the intention for our practice today be to move through yourself, within yourself, 
finding space in your body, but not only in the muscles, but also space in between your thoughts. Okay, we will begin. Draw the shoulders back. Let's sweep the arms up to the sky, reaching, palms touch. And then bend your elbows for cactus shape arms. Draw the elbows back, open up the chest. Bring your right arm over your left for eagle arms. Lifting the elbows up, breathe in. On an exhale, open up for cactus. Now the other side, left arm over right, eagle shape. Lift your elbows up for Garud Asana. And release cactus shape arms. Interlace your hands behind you. Get your palms to touch. Try get your knuckles towards the ground behind you. Interlacing all 10 fingers. Draw the shoulders back, expand the chest. You can even exaggerate the movement as you lift your head up and back. Finding space from the belly button to the throat. And release. Good. Hands onto your knees. Let's twist to the right. Turn to the front. Twist to the left. And turn to the front. One more time. Twist. Look behind you. To the front and twist again. And to the front. Extend your legs out in front of you. Rotate your ankles in one direction. The other direction. Point your toes. Flex into your feet and try lift your heels off the ground. Point. Keep pointing. And now lift your heels, flex into the feet, toes towards you. And point, last one. Keep pointing, finding that beautiful stretch. In the fronts of your calves. And flex, toes towards you, spread the toes wide. Press the backs of the knees to the ground, heels off the ground, and release. Good. Let's come into a butterfly shape. So feet together, knees apart. Lengthen into the spine. And then fold forward by pressing your elbows down onto your knees. And we're going to gently rock from side to side. Returning to center, lengthen the spine, look forward. And if you can, fold forward as much as you can. Lifting your chin up and pressing your chest to the ground. So try keep your spine straight here as you fold forward. A little bit deeper. Maybe you can even get your elbows to touch, but keep that spine super straight. Breathe. And let's rise up, good. Take your left foot and place it on the outside of your right knee. Bring your right foot closer to your seat and we're gonna to twist to the left. Returning to intention, where we want to be 
with ourselves on our mat, not chasing any thoughts, Counter twist to the other side. Come back to butterfly shape with your feet together and your knees apart. This time bring your hands behind you, fingers pointing away and rock from side to side. One more time, and then make your way to butterfly shape. This time, interlace your hands underneath your feet, lengthen the spine, and see how far you can go without rounding the back. So you wanna almost press your belly button towards your big toes. So it's a lift and a tilt lift and a tilt. Some of you may be able to get your elbows on your shins. Keep pushing the shoulders back. Breathe. Sometimes all you need is a nice long breath to help you go a little bit deeper. You should definitely feel this in your inner thighs, maybe even your glutes. And slowly, slowly rise up. Let's place the right foot on the outside of your left knee. Left heel to seat and twist to the right. It really doesn't matter how you twist. Make the shape yours and let your body feel really good. One more breath, lengthen the back, twist, and then counter twist to the other side. Okay, make your way to downward facing dog. And bending into one knee at a time. Straighten out both legs now. Press your chest towards your shins. Spreading the fingers nice and wide. Now walk your feet halfway on the mat. Grabbing hold of your right ankle with your left hand, finding a twist. And now the other side. And return. Look forward and let's walk to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Fold forward on an exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up, reaching to the sky. Belly in. And prayer to chest. Mountain. Inhale, sweep your arms up. 
Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Bend your knees for chair pose. Sit low. Almost like a squat. Push your seat back. Draw your shoulders back. And now dive all the way down. Step into your downward dog, doesn't matter which leg. Sweep your right leg up, inhale. Keep sweeping your right leg up as high as possible. Now place your right foot in between your hands. Ground your back foot for warrior two. Frame your front foot. Step into your plank. Coming down knees, chest and chin. Glide forward into cobra, but lift your hands off the ground. And if you can, interlace your hands behind you, lifting your chest up, pressing your big toes down, hands underneath your shoulders, child's pose. Downward dog. Sweep your left leg up. Inhale, point your toes up, way up. And then place your left foot in between your hands. Ground your back foot, warrior two, nice and steady. Frame your front foot, step into your plank. Knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra, hands off the ground. Interlace your hands behind you, using the force of your Belly pressing down, activate your lower back as you lift up. One more breath. Hands on the earth, downward dog. And let's take five deep breaths here. One last breath together, inhale. Sweep your right leg up. Right foot in between your hands. Warrior two. Frame your front foot. Plank. Coming down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, palms off the ground. Interlace your hands behind you. Locusts, drawing the shoulders back, lifting up. Hands to the earth, down dog. Left leg up, inhale, reach up. Exhale, left foot in between your hands, warrior two. Frame your front foot, plank. Coming down, knees, chest, chin. 
and straight away into your locust with your hands interlaced behind you, pressing your big toes down, drawing your shoulders back and breathe. Hands on the earth, downward facing dog. And we'll do that sequence again. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot in between your hands. Vira Bhadrasana 2. Frame your foot. Plank. Knees, chest, chin, locust, downward facing dog. Left leg up, inhale, foot in between your hands, warrior two, plank. Knees, chest, chin, locust. This time, bend your knees. Lift your knees off the ground. And if you're able to, grab hold of the outsides of your ankles for your bow pose. and release child's pose. Make your way to all fours. We're going to extend our arms forward for a puppy stretch. Try get your chest down to the ground, but if that doesn't work for you, another option is just to bring your forehead down. Keep your arms straight if possible. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can bend your elbows and place the palms of your hands together behind your head. And release. All fours, round your spine, drop your belly, cow shape, lift your head back, maybe even exaggerate, moving the head as far back as you can and lifting your seat towards your head. So it's as if you had no limits and one day or maybe never, probably never, <laughs> you'll get your head towards your seat. <laughs> yeah, definitely never for me, but energetically, that's really where we want to go. Moving your head as far back as you can. And then tuck your toes down dog. Continue with our sequence, adding on. Sweep your right leg up. Place your right foot in between your hands. Warrior two shape. We're gonna tip back for peaceful warrior. Now bring your right elbow onto your right knee for side angle.
and then frame your front foot. Plank. This time, Chaturanga if you know it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg up, inhale. Left foot in between your hands. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Left elbow onto left knee, side angle. Warrior two. Frame your front foot. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing. Sweep your right leg up, inhale. Bend your right knee, opening up your hips. Keep extending the knee up to the sky. Now place your right foot in between your hands. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Side angle, but this time Place your right hand on the inside of your right foot, extending the left arm past the ear line. And if you have space, you can wrap your right arm, sorry, your left arm around your lower back. making your way to half moon from here. So right fingers slightly in front of the right toes, leaning into your hand and your right foot as we make our way to half moon. Still wrapping the left arm around your lower back. See if you can look up. One more breath. And warrior two, arms in a T. Such a nice place to be, to find a bit of stability here. And then frame your front foot. Plank. Vinyasa, Chaturanga, nice and steady. Up dog. And Aro Mukha Svanasana. Sweep your left leg up. Both arms straight. Bend your left knee, stack your hips. Reach the left knee as high as you can. Find space in the back of your right leg. And place your left foot in between your hands. Warrior two. To back for peaceful warrior. Side angle with left hand on the inside of your left foot. Sometimes all you really need to do is just push your right heel down to the ground. And now wrap your right arm around your lower back. Rotate the belly up, the chest up. And look to the earth. 
We're moving into our half moon position. So take your time. It doesn't have to be one smooth movement. Land in your warrior two. Frame your front foot. Plank. Chaturanga strong arms. Inhale for Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Long breaths. Bring your knees to the ground. And extend your arms forward for puppy stretch. If you can, grab hold of the front edge of your mat. Pressing your belly down to the ground. And if you want to go deeper here, I want you to tuck your toes and straighten out the legs. Release. Whew. All fours. Round your back. Neutral spine. Thread your right arm underneath your left for thread the needle. Now wrap your left arm around your lower back. Release all fours. The other side now, thread it through. Wrap your arm around your lower back. Good. Make your way to all fours. Downward dog. Okay, we're moving into our final standing sequence. So sweep your right leg up. Bend your right knee and open up your hips. You can stay here working on the hip opening or flip it into wild thing. If you're able to go into your wheel pose from wild thing, 
do that. Otherwise, just play around with what you've got. You can also just lie on your back and come into wheel pose from the ground. Make your way to down dog with the right leg up. Place your right foot in between your hands, warrior two. Tip back, peaceful warrior. Side angle, right hand in front of right foot. This time wrap your left arm around your lower back straight away. And if you're able to get the bind here, you can wrap your right upper arm in front of your right knee so that you can hook your arm underneath to grab hold of your fingers, maybe even your wrist. Keep pressing down into both feet and looking up. Push your crown forward and we're headed into half moon. Right fingers in front of the right foot. You can even use a block here if you need to. And steady to lift up. Option to grab hold of the left foot. And landing, whoopsie. Warrior two. Frame your front foot. Plank. Passing through Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Sweep your left leg up, inhale, bend your left knee, open your hips. And if this is where the journey ends, you can stay here, take a break, lie on your back, make your way to your wheel from there or tip it into wild thing. And even if you fall out, come back in. Just do your best, guys. Sometimes wild thing will never become real. Sometimes it just feels right. And the body just wants to go there. And then make your way to three-legged dog with the left leg up. Left foot in between your hands, warrior two. Side angle, left hand on the inside of the foot. Wrap your right arm around your lower back. Option for the bind here. Draw the right shoulder back. Lift your chin up to the sky. Ready for our final balance, half moon. Extending your right arm up. And if you want to bend your right knee to grab hold of your foot, do that.
Warrior 2. Frame your front foot, plank, coming down Chaturanga nice and strong, inhale, expand the chest as much as possible, down dog. Okay, we're moving into our inversions. So if you want to do headstand, move into your headstand practice. If you feel more comfortable with headstand up against the wall, just find some wall space and do that. I'm going to go into my pincher. If you want to try this with me and you've never done it before, I suggest you do it up against the wall. So basically the forearms are on the ground fingers spread nice and wide. You want to get your feet as close to your hands as possible. And you want to feel the weight onto your forearms. Engaging the belly, what's really nice is to lift your heels up and then release them down. And if this is already too much for you, you can take a break and then just practice lifting your heels and then pressing them down and then take a break again. If you want to go into your full pincher, you want to lift one leg up and rise up. and release child's pose. Okay, one more back bend. Your knees lie flat on your bellies. And instead of traditional bow, where you grab hold of your ankles from the outside, we're going to try grab hold of the ankles from the inside. So bend both your knees. Grab hold of one ankle at a time from the inside. So this is quite a big external rotation of the head, um, sorry, of the shoulders. So you'll probably feel that immediately. If it doesn't feel good, just grab hold of the ankles like you usually do. Otherwise, let's go. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, you guys. Inhale. And rest to cheek. <sighs> Exhale. Yeah, 
and climb all the way up. Sitting down. Extend your arms forward and slowly lower all the way down. Bringing your head to the ground. Place your arms alongside your body. Extend both legs up to the sky. Bring both your knees to your chest. Try grab hold of opposite elbows as you hug your thighs to your belly. And bring your elbows on the insides of your knees for happy baby, hands on the outsides of your feet. Press down into your lower back and tuck your chin slightly. Now slowly make your way to Shavasana. Empty completely. And return to slow, deep breathing. Make movements. A stretch. And come on up. And thank you for joining me. Well done, guys. See you soon.